Hi, Ayer. I'm excited to be here too. Uh, thanks for inviting me for this podcast. So my name is Luciana Triplett. I'm the owner of Triplett Studio. I have a boutique uh, architecture interior design firm in Boston. I mean, it's right, right outside Boston. I started in 2021, in March, after getting my license, finished my last exam on November 11, 2020. It took a little longer because of COVID. Uh, all the centers for the exams were closed, so, but it finally happened. And I'm so excited that finally I achieved my dream. You know, you know me, uh, it's, it's very been, hard. It's been, yeah, it's very hard in this country, our journey as an immigrant. It was always been my dream to have my friend. So now, Finally, I was able to achieve it. You're an inspiration, Luciana. Oh, thank you. Oh, wow. It was really inspiring. It has something special to be in a place that is so many powerful women sharing their stories and uh, uplifting each other and just being there to support each other. We know even though we have very different paths, we share so much in common by being women. You know, we know the struggles in this profession. We know how hard it is to balance career with your professional lives. So just to share stories and, and hear and learn and, and just, you know, we, we leave the, the summit just feeling like, oh my gosh, we can do this. And on, along the way, let's help others to achieve the same dreams that we have and you know and just get in the path that you're gonna reach your best self so one thing I learned one of the most successful women in our field they were very generous and I went to one of them was like about women led firms that she actually been doing this for a long time and they share the stories how they help others to get started too. So I hope I'm not working a firm so it's different for me than trying to change the policy, the culture of a firm to be more supportive for women. But I do uh, my own supportive role as an immigrant trying to help other women like the Architina's group that I'm becoming a mentor to them so we can lift the number of women that are immigrants in this country to pass the ARES and become licensed too. I also have a group of women. We're about 20 women. They're starting our own firms. So we meet every other week. We bring guests to share their experience of running their own firm. So we learn a lot from people that have been doing this longer. And we kind of support each other in the process or, you know, of getting started. And I hope this group is going to keep growing. All these women are... A lot of them are immigrants too. Some actually went back to work in a firm. Some are having kids. So we all in different seasons of our lives, which is okay. And we always have the door open. Like sometimes some people decide like, you know what, I'm going to wait until I'm ready to have my own firm. Or some people are planning on it. So come talk to me. Somebody's out there thinking about it because this is our intent to keep helping women uh, in this journey of getting started. I know it's scary. I've been there. I'm still going through this process. There's so much love. I keep joking about like before my readings about the ARES. Now it's all about marketing, it's about how to get the clients, about writing contracts and all that fun stuff. But that's what changed. You're an entrepreneur, you know, you have to be in that mindset of like how to run your business once you get started. And I think that's one of the reasons I've been doing my own firm for so long. I don't see myself working for somebody else because I always feel like in the leadership position, you know. Again, even though I work for myself, I have consultants, I help people that I can always hire and I also collaborate with other architects. So I'm always saying like women, we should not be in the business of competing with each other. We should be always about collaborating with each other. So I've been doing a lot of work with friends across the country too, because I, I love doing interior design too. So that way they can be the architect of record where they are and I can be, you know, helping them with all the interiors part of the project. And it's been just because we love each other because of the friendship, besides the aspect that we are part of this group, it's been so um, rewarding. So so it's been great.